Dear Librans, what's up with you all? Hope you all are doing fantastic, mind-blowing. Here I am with your person's current thoughts and feelings. Let's see what is it that they are thinking towards this particular connection and towards you. Keep in mind, if you're a cross-watcher, haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do not forget to subscribe. You never know next time I may be catching up with your energies. If you're already a subscriber, yet again, do not forget to leave me a comment. I may be catching up with your energies as well. Time is fluid. Energies can be interchangeable. If it is not resonating with you or your partner at all, do not lose heart. Check out your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs as well. So without a further ado, let's start with your reading, dear Librans, and let's see what is what are your uh, person's current thoughts and feelings towards you right now. Six of Cups, the Sun card, we have five of wands somebody is looking for a reconciliation post a fight a conflict because at the end of the day you both when are together give or make each other ha uh, very happy this conflict was based on some sort of jealousy and possessiveness some competition that you feel is around you or probably for, for some other uh, reason but you are feeling heartbroken or your person is he feeling heartbroken right now you're trying to focus upon yourself or they are fo focusing upon yourself themselves uh being in two minds what is it that i need to do further because i definitely am feeling a lot of heartache i'm trying to focus upon myself but what if if my person start moving on from me or from this particular connection should i be approaching them or not but i right now need some time on my own to reflect what is it that has happened in this particular connection i definitely want a new beginning but but is it worth it should i move on from what happened in the past probably there were outside external people or influences also informed involved in this particular connection because of which you're kind of stopping yourself giving yourself a pause and asking yourself this question should i be giving it a brand new start i definitely have love i definitely feel passionate but is it worth giving them a chance? What if, if they move on? What if I should move on? I should move on after whatever happened or I should not? King of Pentacle tells me that you feel that your person is all the time focused upon themselves. However, you want them to come forward towards you. They have been very hot and cold in and out in this particular connection. They are in love with you and they definitely care for you. But they are taking a lot of time to come forward. And they are thinking... And they also know that you are in love with them, but there are a lot of regrets, probably something uh, that happened in the recent past because of which they are also regretting that I shouldn't have done this thing, which is keeping them up till late at night. There are so many questions that are actually coming in their mind and they really don't know how to resolve this situation. Come forward, not to come forward. Is this the right time to approach you? They want to come forward towards you and they are keeping a tap on you, like watching you so that, you know, everything calms down and then they can come arrive at a certain situation, decision uh, or a direction. With two of pentacles, uh, you know, they are also uh, juggling to make a decision because right now I feel that you both are in a contact situation but both of you are having uh are hoping and uh you know are having high hopes that the situation will become better with the strength card you know one person is trying to be practical in this connection pushing the other person away not ready to come out of the comfort zone there is a lot of stubborn energy as well that i see with the fool card i see that with the fool card, I see that there is a new beginning that one person is looking forward to. However, uh, they are also looking for the abundance to come in in the near future. Okay to wait and watch where this connection is going to shape up. But right now I see that, you know, both the parties are waiting. One person is waiting so that the situation can calm down and then they can come forward to speak. And the other person is trying to be very stubborn. Uh, pushing the other person away there are crickets everywhere right now in this connection it can be a no contact situation or minimal conversation that is going on but both the parties are maintaining some sort of silence one person is waiting for the storm to calm down and the other person is kind of pushing them away in out of frustration and anger right but there is a waiting that is involved for a new beginning from both of your end and you know, there is a wish fulfillment also on the cards, which is seen the deliverance. So that's about it. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.